Hi there, pals, and welcome to our first vlog in a really, really long time. Um, we've got some news. Keith has been feeling mm, not terrible, but not his greatest. And uh, after some testing with a functional med doctor, they found out that he has, you want to tell him? Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's. Thyroid, thyroiditis. Hashimoto's, thyroiditis. Um, so we are just going to be spending the next probably three, maybe six months trying to heal that up naturally and, uh, give you a little taste into what we're doing and to show you ways in which maybe you can change your life so that your health can be superior. In videos down the line, we'll explain like how he got diagnosed and the supplements and stuff that he's using, like the protocol that he's using for detox and all that type of stuff. But in this video, it's just kind of gonna be a quick view into our week as we just got back from Mexico and uh, kind of getting settled into a new lifestyle and diet again. But we did want to mention some symptoms that Keith had been having, which led us to go to the doctor. What was your main, what was your main symptom? Fatigue. Yeah. Over the last, what would you say, like maybe six five? Months. Yeah, five, six months, he's, uh, his fatigue's gotten pretty bad. Um, his muscle has pretty rapidly turned into fat, which it's kind of a double-edged sword because he doesn't really do much physical activity with his job, so which one is it? Probably a little bit of both, but um, yeah, that was another symptom. What were some of your other symptoms? Gas and bloating after eating gluten. Like severe bloating, like pregnant belly bloating. <laughs> um, we've known that gluten's been an issue for him for quite a few years now, but we haven't really done anything about it. So we don't have a choice now, we have to. And then the other thing I wanna add is uh, decreased libido. It's already coming back though. Slowly. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this series of healing Keith's Hashimoto's. I thank you. Oh my gosh, dust just. <laughs> well, I'm dirty. Um, thank you for sharing your illness and life with us. Okay. <laughs> for letting me do this. Whatever. It's something that I wish I would have done when I was going through my healing process, but I did not have the energy to do that. Plus everything else I was doing. See, Keith's kind of got it. He's kind of living in candy land right now because we've gone through this before. I know how to cook the things and um, I make everything for him. So he's just kind of got to eat it. That's about it. Yep. So again, thanks for letting us use you as a guinea pig. And I hope you guys get some good information from this series. All right, now we are going to get into what we've done this week. I just got back from the first grocery haul of the new diet. And let me tell you, Walmart, Walmart sucks. There wasn't a whole lot there, but I did get some basics for the next couple days. One of them being celery because going to be a good snack for Keith with some peanut butter on top. And one of the newer things that I saw there was the Siete Salsa Cremosa, jalapenos and roasted garlic. So I'm gonna give that a whirl because I love Siete brand. And also he can't have seed oils or sugar and this doesn't have seed oils or sugar. It has olive oil, onions, roasted garlic, water, sea salt, and citric acid. So the normal salsa that we get is no longer for a while. He can only have like coconut sugar and um, like monk fruit extract, maple syrup, honey, that type of thing. So that's what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and like wash up everything, clean all the produce. I just take Dr. Bronner's in my sink. I fill it up with water and squirt a few little squirts of Dr. Bronner's in it. And then I just let everything kind of marinate in here for like 10, 15 minutes. And then rinse it off really good and store it accordingly in my fridge. I cut up some celery, 
like this in little slices for peanut butter to dip them in. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and put a lid on that. And then the rest of the celery is up here to juice tomorrow. We've got some spring mix and some spinach. I got some eggs. I said an extra set of raspberries. We got some dill to make a cucumber salad. We got some of these Zespri kiwis. These are those yellow ones that I love so much. Some avocados, Kate's favorite blackberries. He also loves grapes. He also loves strawberries. And then I got some more raspberries. Um, a head of butter lettuce and two cucumbers. That's pretty much everything that I got for our first little haul. Oh, I did get some broccoli, but I already put that in the fridge. So just a bunch of produce. We're already stocked up on all of our meats in the freezer. Oh, I did get some potatoes too. I got some Yukon gold potatoes. I was gonna make a potato leek soup, but the leeks looked so bad and they were like spongy. <laughs> so I didn't get those, but I'm gonna have to make a, I think I'm probably gonna have to make a grocery trip down towards St. Louis at some point in the next probably week. Stock up on some goodies. For now, that's where we're sitting. Hi there. I'm in the same clothes as yesterday because I only wore them in the afternoon and it's afternoon again. So here I am in the same clothes, but I am making a few snacks because we need some snacks in this house and Keith can't have a handful of things. So I made a couple recipes out of Rachel's Good Eats cookbook. Um, I made these peanut butter lovers nut butter cookies that are made with almond flour and peanut butter and maple syrup and baking powder. That's pretty much it. A little salt. And um, so I'm making these right now. I will show you. They just came out of the oven a little while ago. And then you just flip them over, slap some peanut butter on, and then push them together. And then I also made like this puffed brown rice, uh, seeded, like crunchy snack because we love crunch. And calls for chocolate on top, but I don't have any chocolate that doesn't have added sugar in it. And Keith can't have added sugar right now. So I did what I used to do when I was on my protocol years ago. And I took like solidified coconut oil and I melted it in the microwave. And then I added cacao and maple syrup. And I'm just kind of letting it re-solidify a little bit here. And then I'm going to pour it on top of these, put it back in the fridge and then slice them up and it should be good to go. We've got like a cr crunchy, savory, slightly sweet snack. And then we've got a fairly sweet snack. That should get us by for the next couple days. <laughs> oh, the funny thing is when like you're detoxing and going through a protocol, you are so hungry, like so hungry because you're killing off like all the bad bacteria in your gut and your gut is saying like, feed me that stuff. Like I want the gluten, I want the dairy, I want all of that stuff because I wanna keep replicating all this bad bacteria. And so it's like telling your brain, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry because it stopped being fed the bad bacteria. I'm gonna have a hungry, I'm gonna have a hungry husband for the next couple days, but we will make do. I'm back from the second grocery run of this detox slash let's heal this Hashimoto's situation for Keith. And um, it's only two days later, it's Thursday and it's, $89 worth of groceries here, which is insane to me. I'll show you what I got. I got some peanut butter, some olive oil, some pineapple, a little thing of orange juice because I'm making some orange chicken tonight, uh, some peppermint tea, I got butter lettuce and more spring mix. I got uh, green onions, I got some zucchini. I got three things of blackberries because Keith literally goes through these so fast. I will wash this and he will eat the whole thing in one sitting. Uh, we got some lemons, I got another head of broccoli, a couple things of celery, some honey crisp apples, some grapes, two things of bananas, and a cabbage because I'm going to make like some cabbage roll thingies for dinner tomorrow night. All of this, $89. $89. $89. Mind blowing. 
Um, I realized that Keith goes through a lot of food. <laughs> I mean, I've all, always known that, but um, especially during a detox period, I know when I was going through my detox period, I was hungry all of the time because again, I think I said this the other day, the bad bacteria in your gut wants the things that it's used to like gluten and dairy and all, all the stuff that feeds it and replicates it. And uh, when you're not giving that to it, it's like, oh, feed me, feed me. It's like scratching an itch that you can't scratch, you know, like you just want more food and more food and more food and more food. I'm going through a lot of groceries right now. <laughs> My fridge is very full though. This is the chicken for tonight. These are the peanut butter cookies that I made yesterday. Oh, and these, these brown rice, like Rice Krispie bars, they are so good. These things that I made yesterday. In fact, I'm gonna dig into one of those once I get done talking to you. But this is my fridge in its current state. Now I'm gonna go put these groceries away and uh, we'll check in later in the day, I'm sure. I didn't think to start this when we first started eating, but um, I made Rachel's Good Eats orange chicken tonight for dinner and it was phenomenal. But we're just rounding out day two of Keith's detox slash healthier eating to heal his Hashimoto's. How do you feel? Good. How have your meals been? Awesome. See, it doesn't have to be terrible. It doesn't have to be terrible. We've had pork, we've had chicken, we've had good snacks. What's been your favorite new thing that I cooked? The snacks? The snacks? <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Chicken? Chicken, this one? Yeah, this one was good. Anyways, it just, it doesn't have to be hard. And um, there are still plenty of things that you can eat. What kind of current symptoms are you experiencing through your detox right now? Stinky gas. <laughs> and that's different from any other day? No, it's worse. Yeah, it's really bad, like really bad. Sorry about the wiggle, really bad. And also yesterday you had uh, a low sugar dip. Yeah where he was feeling like really lethargic and weak. He didn't get shaky or anything like that, but I mean, that's gonna happen when you're in a detox. It's just gonna happen. Your body's trying to adjust to a new, a new normal. You're doing good, friend. Yeah. I'm proud you haven't been complaining too much. I was no, you act, no, actually, not too much. You haven't really. You haven't complained about the food or anything at all. There's nothing to complain about. You're gonna have to do it. There you go, folks. My Amazon order just arrived, so I figured I'd show you some of the things that uh, came in for Keith. Magnesium glycinate. They have him on a lot of magnesium right now, trying to help reduce all the inflammation in his body. And then I just needed a refill of the vitamin D K2. We've already, like, we already take this, but I needed a refill of it. Also, he's still deficient in vitamin D. And so they recommended still using it. I'm going to guess it's because the absorption in his intestines is not good with all of the gut issues and inflammation. So that's important. And then for the Hashimoto's, they put him on glutathione. This shit is expensive, man. Um, I don't think it's something he's gonna have to be on forever. This bottle, 30 capsules was $60. <laughs> And he has to take two, he has to take two a day. So that's only going to last 15 days right now. Anyway, then the other thing that I got were some glass containers because he's going to have to take all of his food on the road. Now, um, his one job was to figure out a microwave situation for his semi and has he done it yet? No. Okay, so these are all meal prep jars. They came in like a set of three different kinds, which I thought was super cool. There is these just regular ones that are, you know, just plain. They don't have any dividers in them. And then there's these ones that have a single divider here. And then there's these ones that are a little bit bigger and they have two dividers. So it's in 
three little sections. These will be perfect meal prep jars. Then I had to get some lids for our current jars because so many of them are broken like this. So I just got a set of refill lids. And lastly, I got these Ello Duraglass containers. Also for meal prep, these are just like quite a bit bigger. And if he's eating on the road, I, I know this sounds crazy, but I thought that the rubber would like not slide around in his lap. The only other two things that came in this massive box were a blender bottle and my favorite chocolate protein. If you are interested in any of these things, it will be linked in the description box. My Amazon storefront will be linked below and you can shop any of the items in there. I do earn a commission, so if that's not your thing, I guess just copy paste it into a different browser. But if you wanna support me and support this channel, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello there, pals. Now that we have explained Keith's diagnosis to you, I just wanted to quickly talk about some things. First of all, um, kudos to Keith for allowing me to share all of this online. Uh, he's not the biggest online person. Oh, look at the bruisey. But I do think it's super important. It's something that I wish I would have had the energy to do uh, when I was going through my healing journey, but I did not have that energy at the time, but I do now. So I'm going to record as much as I can and as much as Keith's willing and as much as I want to. Um, everything that we're doing to help him heal his Hashimoto's naturally. The one thing I really need to drive home is there are two ends of the spectrum when it comes to sharing medical information or medical stuff on social platforms. There are people who get really upset about it and then there are the people who are searching and searching and searching for alternative methods. That being said, I have to preface all of this with um, one thing. I am not a doctor. I did not go to medical school. I did heal myself from probably like seven chronic illnesses using a holistic method. And I have also helped others heal their illnesses. That does not mean that you are a shoe in that what I share and show you here as far as healing modalities will help you, but it is worth a try. Like it is worth a try. I have not seen any negative repercussions from any of my clients when we go and do things like change up the way they're living their life, change their diet, incorporate new foods, cut out some of the ones that don't make you feel as good. With all that being said, I want you to take what I say with like a grain of salt. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I didn't go to medical school, but I feel like I do have a lot of information to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Another thing I really, really, really am passionate about and want to share is that personally, Personally, I believe that every, okay, not every, personally, I believe that nearly every chronic illness can be healed with the same healing modalities. I've used the same program for multiple illnesses and the outcome has been the same. People heal parts of themselves. And this, this is what, this is the point I really, really want to make. I think that chronic illness itself is a spectrum disorder. And the diagnosis is just simply where the problem decides to settle. Does that make sense? Um, like it chooses your weak link or your weak gene. For instance, Keith and a lot of his family, their weak gene is their thyroid. And for me and some of my family members, it's our connective tissue, which creates Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, but chronic illness is like, chronic illness is so prevalent out there. And I don't know like a single person who doesn't have somebody like within their home that's not dealing with something. Like Keith and I are both dealing with something in this household. My dad deals with something. My mom deals with something. My brother doesn't yet, thankfully. Keith's parents both have issues. Like it's, it's, it's such a common thing anymore that it has to be something that we are doing in our lifestyle and the way that we are living. Symptoms are a message to your body saying, hey, hey, the current standard of living is not working. It's time to make some changes. Hopefully, 
that happens before illness gets too hard to manage, but often that is not, not the way it goes. We as humans usually don't seek answers to our symptoms until it's like affecting our daily life. My goal for people would be to change the lifestyle before the symptoms arise, but we as humans normally need what you call a wake-up call in order for us to actually make the changes. What I highly recommend for you is that you start paying attention to your symptoms. Don't discredit it and say, oh, it's not that bad. I can deal with this. I'll just make an adjustment to accommodate X, Y, Z. None of that, none of that. Health is important. Your body can be capable and fragile all at the same time. Unfortunately, modern convenience has led us to a life where we don't fully other understand what it means to be healthy, but we have the power to change that. There are so many outlets here on the internet that can teach you the importance of food and what it does to your body and how you can switch up your lifestyle to accommodate good habits and in turn, just start feeling better. I hope that I can be one of those people for you here on this platform and my other platforms, which are linked below, but I will also go ahead and link some of my other favorite uh, channels and forums and stuff where you can find good, solid, helpful information to help you on your healing journey. But I also want you to go out there into the world and start finding some of your own people to follow and start understanding the importance of our food and where it comes from and the things that we can do within our home to start changing our health because you can do it. Everybody can do it. We are all capable. Sometimes people need a little bit more help than others and that's okay. Sometimes Western medicine needs to like, you know, dangle its little fingers in there and give you a little bit of assistance to make it through a hump. That's okay too. Just understand that um, you're not out anything for trying. You have the power. All right, now that I've given my little TED talk, uh, I hope that it was well received. And um, yeah, I just, I just want everybody to feel good, okay? I just want everybody to feel good. Moving on to the next portion of this video. It's Saturday morning and Keith has to go out, but he only has to go out for like a part of the day. He'll be home for lunch. So for snacks in the semi, this is what he's taking. This is Rachel's Good Eats, um, like brown rice, rice crispy, uh, nut concoction it's delicious and then these are my reese's date balls recipe without the chocolate on top and i did add collagen for protein then he's going to take this little jar with some celery there's peanut butter in here some grapes and some blackberries we're going to a concert tonight normally we would go out to eat beforehand beforehand but since we're on detox, we offered to cook dinner for us and our friends tonight. So Keith is making steaks. I've got potatoes in the uh, little toaster oven and we've got a wonderful salad in the fridge. His idea. Hi guys, it's a uh, Sunday, Sunday. And we started this detox thing on Tuesday and uh, we're doing, we're doing pretty good. How you doing? Doing good. Yeah, doing good. Um, Okay, let's let's do a little recap. How's the food been? Not Good. a problem? No. Not a problem for you? As far as symptoms go, for me, it's been like more joint pain. I've just had more joint pain, um, which is pretty typical for me. Um, Keith. Uh, intestinal. <laughs> yeah, he's had a lot of uh, intestinal distress. I think his bad bacteria is pretty mad at him right now. Um, dropped a lot of mud, old mud. Yeah. And his gas was pretty potent for a couple days. Like, I mean, bad. Wake me up in the middle of the night, bad. On a good note, on Friday, he came home from the sale barn and was like, I feel like I have so much energy. And I was feeling the same thing too. So we started on Tuesday and then by Friday, we were already feeling like raring and ready to go. So it's working. We're getting there. Slowly. I just wanted to pop on here one more time and uh, sign this vlog out and say thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up for um, the fact that Keith is allowing me to share this on social media. I can't say he'll probably be a huge part of the videos, but he's letting me share it with you, which is very kind of him. If any of you have Hashimoto's, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section or any chronic illness, okay? I want to hear about it all. I plan to record for these videos Monday through Sunday and that be a week of the healing and then the next week and then the next week and so on and so forth.
Hope you enjoy and I hope you learn a lot and thanks for being here. Bye.